Mercedes-Benz F-Cell World Drive has completed the first half of its journey. Right in the middle of the Australian outback, the convoy crew celebrated driving 15,250 kilometers. The cars went very, very well. The team was doing a great job. The journalists were happy as we showed them the cars. And also all the logistics processes and customs work out well. So we are very happy and we are looking forward to the second half, going home from now. The FSL World Drive moved on from Melbourne, went along the southeast coast of Australia and then headed westward. On the way, the convoy experienced almost every type of landscape. From rainforest to dramatic coastlines, from rich farmland to desolate prairies. Australia is a wonderful country. Everything is on the cars uh, wonderful. We have no problems. Really nice people. They are interested in the tour. The country here is wonderful. Sun is coming. We enjoyed it. We like it. Although the great Nullarbor Plain was uncharacteristically green due to lots of rainfall in the past few months, the trip across this 200,000 square kilometer half desert meant temperatures up to 37 degrees centigrade and road conditions of every kind. In our planning we were really focused to go on normal sealed roads, but for the one or the other really nice viewpoint, uh, you take into account to run a little bit on gravel road. And that gives great possibilities for photos for our journalists and it's also very interesting for our team. And the F-cells did well. They uh, ran along the gravel roads and uh, returned back safely on the highways. After reaching Australia's west coast, the Mercedes-Benz F-Cell World Drive will continue in China. An adventurous second half of the tour has just begun.